Hello YouTube, Fred Berajon from Inaxis. I hope you're doing well today. Um, in this video, I want to show you how to uh, back up and restore the Protege GX databases, okay? So this, uh, I believe this tutorial will be useful if you have to move a GX system from a server to a new server and the hardware is going to be different. It can be a physical server or a virtual machine, the steps will be the same, okay? In a previous video, I showed the different services for GX and also showed uh, how to, um, you know, um, register the license, okay? So obviously, as you know from past videos, you can find them on our playlist for ICT products. Um, we basically need to unlock the serial number for an, uh, to be able to register it again on a different piece of hardware, okay? So the first step, obviously, is to contact our support team with the GX serial number, and we'll unlock it for you so you can install the new server. This is a completely free service, but, you know, um, I suggest that you, would, you do it at least a day or two in advance, so you're completely ready to do it on site. If you do it after hours and we are not open, for instance, then you know the system is ready to be registered again. So from the home page in, in the GX software, uh, to back up the databases, you can go under um, global and then global settings, okay? This area of the software is very important, okay? Um, by default, we record the, the main database, okay, to the default backup path for SQL server, okay, which is this path here, okay, so if I can show you like this, so this is basically where the system is backing up the databases by default, okay, so by default you will have seven backup files from Sunday to Saturday, okay, so if something critical happens on a Thursday, you can always restore the backup from Thursday at midnight or from Wednesday if nothing major was modified in the database, okay, so that's obviously very important. My suggestion is that with the IT specialists on site, that they basically have a backup task to grab the files, let's say at two o'clock in the morning, we know the backup is done at midnight. So let's say at two in the morning, they grab the files from that folder and then save the files to a file server, a NAS or another machine. Never leave the backup files on the GX server only, because you know probably that the hard drive, hard drive sorry, may fail at some point and then you lose everything, okay? You would need to restart programming, uh, reprogram everything in the system and you don't want that to happen, okay? So always make a copy of the backup files on a safe location on the network. This way you can always restore the backup like it was the day before and there's very few things that needs to be reprogrammed in that case, okay? So that's here on the screen, we see the backup path by default, okay? Now, if we go back to Prodigy GX, okay? So like I said, make sure you have uh, automatic backups done every day. Um, there's the backup um, for the main database, the backup for the event database here, okay? And then now we know the system is being backed up, okay? So the next step is to close, uh, sorry, to stop the GX services. You can stop the uh, update service, um, you know, right back, and it's gonna stop the main, the event and the download service. So once the GX services are stopped, now we can open Management Studio, okay? So in this case, um, under Database, and also make sure you connect to the GX instance, obviously, if you have multiple instances on the same server. Um, in this case, I'm working on my laptop, so I'm not on a new server. So what I'm gonna do to replicate a new install of SQL, I'm just gonna delete uh, the GX and the GX event databases quickly, so I want to show you how to restore, okay? I always suggest to install SQL, restore the databases before installing GX, okay? This way, when you install GX, if it's a newer version, it will upgrade the databases to the, that version, to the latest version, okay? So that's my recommended uh, process. So under databases here, I can right click, restore database, device, and browse, and add. So this is automatically taking me to the correct path. Now I'm gonna select the main database, click okay, Okay, to, to put the path in there and restore. Okay, it's very fast. It's a very small file because I have very few items in the system. So then for the event database, same process. Right click on databases, restore database, device and browse, add, and then I'm selecting this event database. Okay, it's very easy. Um, and remember, with newer version of SQL or SQL Express, the Management Studio tool is not installed automatically. So you will have to download it from Microsoft and then you're ready to restore the database with that tool, okay? So now I have my databases restored. I can close Management Studio and I will 
open the services page to start my services again, okay? So while it's doing the, the, data, the start of the services, the data service will take about a minute to start normally, uh, depending on the server hardware, it may be faster or slower, but it's normal that it takes a bit of time, okay? Uh, remember, when you're changing over to a new server, probably the server name will change in, in Windows, okay? Whether if it's Windows 11 Pro or Windows Server, uh, you know, the IT specialist typically will change the name when you move to a new hardware server. So basically, take note of the name of the new server because once the services are running, I'm going to have to open GX and change the name under event and download servers and then restart the download and the event services, okay? So now the data service is running. I can open GX. It's just reopen because it's, I had left the client open. So let's make a new session. And then and no password is a default. Obviously, you want to change that um, as soon as you can. Now under global, download server, make sure that the server name or the computer name here is matching the name of the new server, OK? Same thing under event server, OK? If you had to change this to match the new name, you need to restart the download and event services. All right, and then right away when the system is up and running, we can go and make sure the system is online um, under monitoring, status page, and all events. I can see that you know um, the system is now back online and everything is functioning properly. Okay, I can see my uh, event server being online and the download server as well. Okay, so that's what we want. Okay. So basically, this was how to back up and restore databases with Protege GX. Remember to contact our support team if, when you need to unlock the serial number. That's very important. You don't want to be stuck on a Saturday, unable to move to the new server, and you have to roll back, you know, things like that. Uh, so to avoid delays, please contact us first, OK? Again, I hope you like the video. I think this is going to be useful for your team. Um, make sure you like the video, hit the subscribe button, and you can also contact our support team for help or our sales team for pre-sales and sales um, you know, help. And then, obviously, we have a whole team available for you, OK? So again, thanks for watching. Fred Bergeron from Inaxis.